Hey guys, I mean, hold on. What's up guys, Baker here. Uh, quick tutorial about rendering. I had a few people ask me, uh, uh, they had some problems with rendering, so I just want to get this out of the way. It's going to be an easy tutorial for uh, most of you beginners out there. And I'm just going to kind of go over like uh, compositions and timelines, stuff like that. So basically, composition is like a miniature timeline project kind of thing, if you want to think about it that way, where you can have a bunch of clips and then you can actually use that composition as a piece of footage itself inside of another composition and so on. So if uh, if you try to render this right here, do you guys know what's wrong with this? This composition is only 10 seconds long and this piece of footage is, uh, let's see here, 12 minutes long. So somebody asked me, they're like, how come my, uh, my clip is cut off at the end? Well, it's because your composition is only 10 seconds long. Kind of like this one over here. You know, you have a composition with a clip, and uh, somebody rendered it out and had like 20 minutes of black. And they asked me why. I'm like, well, that's probably because your composition is too long. And um, I'll show you how to fix all that. So if I go back into this comp, and... Um, we have to adjust our composition settings. So if we go to composition, composition settings, we can change the duration. So I like to make it uh, a little extra room when I'm working. So five minutes. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll make this 15 because it's a long piece of footage. And then so now we have uh, we can see everything. So that's good. Now when you want to render out something, you have to make sure your timeline is set because if we leave it like this it'll render from 0 all the way to 15 so we're gonna want to start around here and then we want to end right here so we want to drag this uh, work area bar into there and that will only render out what's inside the work area that's that's the main thing now once you're ready we go to composition add to render queue and this will uh, bring up our box and we can change our settings to see how we want to render. So if I go into best settings right here, uh, we can look at all these uh, settings, I guess. And uh, if your comp is in 59.94, which is default for the uh, HD PVR, if you're going to render straight from YouTube from After Effects, you want to conform this to 29.97 because that's the frame rate that YouTube uses. So, if you render in 59.94, you're essentially rendering twice as many frames than you need and uh, twice as much uh, space uh, for the file. So, go ahead and change that. And everything doesn't need to be changed. So, output module, click on lossless. And this is where we can change our formats and all that good stuff. And uh, somebody asked me. Uh, how do you get audio in After Effects because it's not rendering out audio? Well, that's because by default, the audio output box is not checked. So you need to make sure you click that. And then you can change format options and everything. Output 2, this is where you title it and save it. And uh, I just want to show you a couple extra things. If we click on this arrow here next to Output Module, we can make a template. So you can go in here and change your name. So. I'll call this, you know, Baker's uh, Render Settings, or you can say like YouTube Render, and we'll go to Edit. And the format I always use is a QuickTime Movie, but then go to Format Options and change Animation to H.264. Now, from what I've seen, I haven't tried out every single one. H.264 is the uh, the smallest file size that maintains the pretty much the exact same quality so I highly re uh, recommend that and it says blah 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 you should use h.264 just click OK it doesn't matter and check audio output uh, settings are fine OK and that's about it and you click OK so next time you're rendering so if I just delete this we have a comp add to render queue click down on the arrow and just go to Baker's render settings you don't have to go in there and change everything. Now you may want to change the frame rate again, but it's up to you. And that's how you can make a little preset when you render. And when you render, uh, title it blah 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 on your desktop, okay. 
a quick tip is when you're rendering uh, we have a little preview going on if you click down the caps lock it'll freeze it and it'll disable the refresh preview something I don't know what it's called but it will let your render go a little bit faster and that will save you a few minutes on like a render that will take I don't know 15 minutes or so so pretty cool I mean you can unclick it to see where you are in the render so I'm at the E click it down again it will freeze and that's about it just let it sit and that's how you render it, you guys so make sure you have everything set up correctly like I showed you make sure your comp is long enough to fit every clip you want make sure your time your your work area is set to what you want to render that's another thing and then uh, just use those settings and you should be fine so uh, go ahead and like the video guys uh, check, out, check out my second channel Baker's Tuts and I'll as always uh, like the video yeah okay peace